This aftermarket part shoots so fast that the barrel actually catches on fire. So let's see how it does in zombies. This aftermarket part is the Jack Burnout Kit for the Holger 556 LMG. And before we get into all the testing against every tier of zombie, Omega, Abomination, and the Stormcaller, here's the build that I'm using for it. I try to make it more recoil based since it does shoot so fast and I have so much ammo in the mag. So that way we can actually hit what we're shooting at. But anyways, what's this doing against some tier one zombies unupgraded? pretty well. I just love that little flame effect you get on the barrel. It's so nice. I just hope it does well once we get this thing upgraded. All right, and against tier two zombies, can it handle them? It looks like it, yeah. It takes about, what was that, 60 bullets or something to take out one light armored zombie in tier two? I've definitely seen worse. At least this can still take out some zombies here. And how's it doing against some tier three zombies? Let's throw a decoy for my own safety. Let's start shooting at a light armored one because I don't see a fully armored. Oh, and this mega abomination wants to take me out. I didn't really see a whole lot of damage there. But sometimes you'd be surprised. Some of these unupgraded unpack-a-punch weapons can actually deal damage to tier three zombies. But now that that's out of the way, let's go ahead and upgrade this to legendary, get it to pack three, and activate all my perks. I also brought in the new schematic, the mag of holding that I want to test out later. But first, I just want to see how this does with the normal mag. Because it looks like this doubles. It goes from 100 rounds in the mag to 200 with 750 reserve. That's not terrible. And it's taking these zombies out in like two shots. Well, let's go ahead and give this a trial run against some bounties because I need to earn some cash for some perks. All right, Disciple, where are you hiding at? There you are. What's this doing against you? So far, not a whole lot. Oh, wait. Just needed the mask to break. Damn. Took him out fast. Oh, and thank you for the self-revives. Look at that. What a helpful little guy. Actually, you know what? This thing's already pretty maxed out. Let me grab the perks that I can and we'll go find an abomination. So we'll get Jug and PhD. Holy shit. I think the cats knocked something over. It scared the shit out of me. And I don't know if anyone else sees this or if I'm just going crazy, but every single time I come to tier three, there's a sentry gun just placed underground. Like right here. Is there like an underground stronghold or something I don't know about? Because it's there every time. Oh, and it gets tier three zombies? still slang. I don't even need to ADS with it. And I have no like hip fire attachments. That's nasty. And it looks like our boy over here wanted to try it out too. What's going on, Abomination? Shoot your laser. Let's start this out strong. Nope, you're charging. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Already one head gone. Eliminated. How much damage do we do? That's already a decent amount. Now, if you could just stop chasing me, that would be great. There's the laser. Let's take out the middle head. Oh, it tanked it for a second there. But well, we got it down. Just need one more from you, buddy. There you go. Hopefully, this will be it right here. His health is draining fast. Can we get it to break? Nope, didn't break, but he should be dead right about now. Oh, nope. Still got a nut hair of health. Hold on. There you go. Sit down. That wasn't too bad. Ooh, the zombies try to avenge him. All right, Stormcaller, you're next. Where are you at, buddy? Did somebody get to the Stormcaller before I did? I'm not seeing... Oh, there he is. He's just hiding. He's a little scared. I don't blame him. Hold on, let me reload so we get a full mag test on him. How long does it take for you to break your mask? Hold on. Decoy. Stop healing. Knock it off. The mask is broke. And it's starting to chunk away at his health. Broke his posture, too. Zombie, you need to step back. Already got him to half health. Honestly, this is kind of tearing him up. Gonna take a few hundred bullets, but this thing shoots him out so fast. It's no problem. These zombies are an issue though. Stop. Don't you leave the storm, Stormcaller. We don't need you healing. None of that. Time for you to go. Broke his posture twice in a few seconds. And he should be dead right... Oh, almost. It's all right. We'll tank it down. Don't care. Because now he should be dead. Zombies, please hop off. There we go. That wasn't too bad. The worst thing about it was a little bit of the movement speed. Oh, VR 11? Shit, I'll take that. And a skull. But the aim walking movement speed was definitely a factor there with the zombies all up in my face like that. And the reload, even with speed cola, is still kind of slow. Like, let me shoot a few bullets here and do it. Like, that's not terribly slow there's probably some slower weapons out there but it definitely becomes a factor but so far so good this weapon seems to be pretty decent and now that we got the storm caller and an abomination out of the way let's try our mag of holding so now we have 918 bullets 
and I could still reload it for some reason. <laughs> so now the reloading that I was just talking about, not an issue. Let's take this for a test drive against some tier three bounties. And how much ammo does this have once we fully refill it? 950 bullets is what we can shoot continuously with this gun. And with our MAGA holding, I'm curious to see how bad the recoil gets the more I shoot. So you're gonna be our test subject, Mega Abomination. Already broke his middle face. We just gotta keep shooting. But we don't have to stop. I'm gonna actually shoot every single bullet of this. Second face is getting close. What's Aether Shroud? Got him to half health already. But I'm all out of decoys and all out of Aether Shroud. I don't know if the Maga holding is gonna be better or worse for me because I feel like I'm gonna run out of ammo so much faster. Oh, and out of self revives. Oh, another team is coming in to help out. Fellas, I got this handled. It is just eating constant damage from everybody shooting at it. There's no escape for you. Yeah, shoot that laser. You're done. Here, here's uh, some speed cola for your troubles. Let's keep doing some tier three contracts. I want to try to upgrade my exfil streak. Let's keep doing some tier three contracts. I want to try to upgrade my exfil streak on this operator. And since our barrel it already catches flame just by shooting it, let's add some napalm burst to it. Oh, and there's a camo. I completely forgot I didn't have any camos for the Holger 26. Let's try to knock all those out. And with my question earlier about will the recoil get crazy with this, it actually doesn't. There's like no recoil at all. It's just going right where I'm shooting it. There's a bit of like hip fire spread, but it's not like it's pointing my gun straight in the air. And if these zombies keep dropping ammo for me, I never have to stop shooting. Look at that. 10 kills without reloading 10 times. The MAGA holding is perfect for that challenge. This is actually so satisfying. MAGA holding is so sick. This has got to be one of the coolest schematics they added in. Would definitely rather have Ring of Fire, but... You know, this helps too. That's nice. Actually, you know what? For a big open map like this, maybe Magzo holding would be better than Ring of Fire. But I do miss that damage boost. Let's keep the contract streak going. I'm hoping that one of these contracts will drop me a sigil. And then we can take this for a spin in the Dark Aether. Oh my, look at the glow on the barrel. That's crazy. Why is it so bright in here? So it's bringing out my, my primal instincts. Like I'm a caveman that just discovered fire. It's getting me all excited. Come on, give me a... Oh, it did, it did. Give me a sigil. Let's go. Perfect. But I'll keep knocking out some contracts till the storm starts moving. I want to try to get as much as I can from this. We only get these mags of holding every, like, what, 72 hours on its cooldown? So I'm going to make the most of it. See you later, pal. Au revoir. Sorry I had to do that to your brother right in front of you. <gasps> and a pack three crystal and a ray gun and the ray gun plans and a large backpack. What a good drop. Too bad I don't want really any of it besides that. This is ridiculous, dude. No thought. Head empty. Shoot gun, zombie die. Make fire barrel. And a scorcher in this? Dude, I will take that actually. These drops are on fire right now. We gotta keep them up. Now I haven't used Magza holding a whole lot. It's still pretty new. It's only been out for like a day or two. But I have a feeling this is already gonna be one of my favorite combinations of schematic and gun it's just so like mind-numbingly easy to use like there's no th really threat of dying on these tier three contracts unless i'm stupid and i let them like mob me and another ray gun i really want me to use the ray gun this game all right dark aether i'm coming all right dark aether please be good to me give me some good acquisitions here let's start off with our bounty one let's see if i remember where it's at it's right over here. Actually, you know what? Before we do that, since we have a mag of holding, I want to use this on an ethereal orb. We're going to take this bad boy out immediately. Or maybe not. These things have so much health for no reason. Die. This is actually ridiculous. There we go. That took, what, 600 bullets? And what is our reward for all that hard work? Brain rot. <laughs> This game is brain rot. Come here, buddy. Let's go take this mangler out. I have a feeling that this gun's about to get real bright down here in the fog. That is if we ever stop shooting it. Oh, wait. I shouldn't have said that. I have no ammo. Um, Aether Blade, go. Give me some. We wasted it all on that harvester orb. Okay, we're back up to 700 bullets. We're fine. We're pristine. The mangler's almost dead anyways. But so are we. Oh no, we're leaving the area. All right, I think we're back on our feet. We're okay. Oh, and there's our camo, 10 disciples. Forgot about our camos again. I'm gonna have to come back in and get the rest of them. Let's at least try to get gold here. There we go. Mangler down, a VR 11, but we already have one right here. I don't know how many of those I want, but I'm decent start to loot. 
Would rather have some acquisitions though. Give me another Maggle holding. All right, on to the next. Oh, there's a Wonder Fizz right here. What? Is it usable? It is, what? That's so weird. I like that they did that actually. But I'm guessing if you brought the Scorcher in already, you're probably gonna have all the perks. And also when we first came into the Dark Aether, I saw Lego hop on this table and I think it's actually a really good spot for this Outlast contract. Cause the zombies, like they can't really seem to find us. A lot of them just keep turning around. And it seems like they just pile up right here. This is perfect. I do want that insta-kill though. So zombies, if you could. But I would be careful sitting in this spot because if you do run out of ammo and the zombies are all right here, there's no way out. You get cornered. I have a feeling they're going to patch this spot. So I'm going to take advantage of it while I can. But there's our P&D. Oh, legendary Aether Tool and another VR-11. They really want me to take that home with me. And we got one more contract on the top of this mall. Come here. We got to bust ass to get this done though. Throw a quick decoy. Let's start it up. I don't care if you suck me, disciple. I'm about to get a mouthful. Actually, there's no zombies around this one. We can just do it real quick. Clean. That's actually so useful. Get to hang on to one of our decoys. Now let's throw another one. Aether Blade. And can we get this off? Yes, sir. With plenty of time to spare. And what do we get for that? Another Scorcher. I'll take a Scorcher. I don't know if we can get any more loot here. I'm going to go look around and see if we can find any like crates or something. There's a weapon locker with a pickaxe in it. But besides that, I don't see anything else in here. Let me uh, check out some of these other buildings. Maybe there's some secrets. So far, I'm not seeing anything. I mean, there's a floating truck. Can I drive this? Nope. All right, I don't think we're getting anything else. Let's hop out of the dark aether. All right, let's knock out the rest of these camos real quick. There's Zircon scale. No! Did I really crash like one kill away from Serpent tonight? I'm sick of this game. That's so ass. It's not even a crash. It's checking for update. What do I got to do for it to check it on its own time? I had some good stuff in my inventory too. That's so lame. Yep, we lost everything, including some progress towards our exfil streak. That's just great. With literally two more elite kills to go. I hate this. Man, whenever I start feeling good about this game, start feeling hopeful, it immediately shuts me down for nothing and this should be it right here damn dude now let's get the hell out of here all right now that that's out of the way final thoughts on the weapon i like it a lot it's really fun to use it might not be like the absolute strongest weapon in the game but i think it can contend like it's up there with some of the best and from what i saw with the maggle holding it looks like you don't really have any recoil especially with the build that i use so you can just shoot a thousand bullets damn near with almost no repercussions so i'd say go ahead and give this weapon a try it's a lot of fun but i'm gonna go ahead and end it here thank you guys for watching i truly appreciate all your love and support and i will see you in the next one later